Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine. Welcome back for another episode from Data Science as a Career. Until now, we've seen what is data science, who can be a data scientist, and now let's move on to the next topic, how can you start a career in data science? This video will be done in two parts and will act as a step-by-step -step guide for a beginner. So let's get started. The first step or the first objective is to learn mathematics and statistics. If you're a data science aspirant, then you need a strong background in mathematics and a basic knowledge of statistics. In the midst of the hype around data-driven decision-making, the basics are somehow getting sidelined. The boom in data science requires an increase in executive statistics and math skills. Some of the fundamental concepts expected from a business analyst are correlation, causation, and how to statistically test hypotheses. We highly recommend starting with the basics of linear algebra and then gradually moving on to calculus. It may be hard to master them initially, but with enough time and practice, you will get familiar and comfortable with it. Coming to our step two, practice programming. Numerous studies, including our own, have come to the conclusion that Python is the most important language to be learned by data scientists. In fact, in 2020, this sentiment is being clamored as almost 75% of the industry as well as the professionals are saying that. So beginners should focus on learning Python programming for at least their first six months and interacting with databases. Then, once you have a good understanding of Python and programming in general, you can then start learning other languages like R and Java, then move on to machine learning packages like Skikit Learn. Sites like Kaggle and Datacamp are extremely good at testing codes and collaborating with peers and developers. In addition, forums like Stack Overflow are excellent in discussing problems and queries related to programming. We will be sharing all the links down below. Moving on to the third step, dip your feet in machine learning. Many people make a mistake of learning every algorithm in machine learning and then forget where it can actually be used to solve a problem. For beginners, it is suggested that they learn the popular and standard algorithms. A complicated algorithm is not always the solution for complex applications. It is all about how a machine learning problem is solved optimally. Here are a few blogs which brilliantly explain the process. We will be sharing the links to all the blogs below. The first blog is Machine Learning Mastery by Jason Brownlee. An amazing blog by expert Jason Brownlee. He explores the fascinating world of machine learning and captures its essence in the real world. Second blog is by Adam Gately, which has interesting write-ups in machine learning and Python. You can also look into Arthur Giuliani's blog on reinforcement learning an absolute gem of a blog which particularly focuses on reinforcement learning in machine learning. And lastly, you can also check out Edwin Chen's blog. It explores requisite concepts of machine learning, such as neural networks, deep learning, etc., as well as the math behind it. If you decide to take a course in machine learning, keep in mind that most of these programs only give a brief idea of the basic algorithms like support vector machines and neural networks. However, they strengthen concepts like matrix operations and linear regression and teach supervised and unsupervised learning. An introduction to some projects using programming languages, generally MATLAB, R, Python and Octave also form a part. Coming to the fourth step, create and build machine learning projects. Learning is just the beginning. It also needs to be implemented. Taking up live project, understanding the architecture behind the scenes help a lot. Hands-on experience in data science is not only very important, but also required by many large firms as they look for people who have experience with data science and have an analytical mind. You can learn via the following projects which are perfect for beginners. The Iris Flower Classification Project, Movie Lens 100K, Turkey Student Evaluation Dataset, and Big Market Sales Prediction. Links to all of these projects will be given below. In the next video, we will continue with the rest of the steps to help you transition to a career in data science. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and click on the bell icon to get a notification when the next video comes out. See you soon. Bye.